Today on the 5 Minute Saltwater Aquarium Guide, we're going to show you how to do a proper water change, tools needed, how to make it easier and most effective. All that's coming up. Hey, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV and the 5 Minute Saltwater Aquarium Guide. This is a clear, simplified and direct path to setting up that first successful reef tank. It's time to do a water change. The challenge here is all kinds of pollutants build up in the water, some measurable, some less so. Some pollutants also build up in areas like the sand, and this is just a good time to reduce those as well. Not only that, but some of the minor and trace elements also get depleted from the salt water, and they also need to be replaced. So there are a variety of functions that a water change serves. So this is one of those things that I've been sharing from time to time in this series where understanding this one statement will dramatically change your success rates. The Beerus team and I have spoken to tens of thousands of reefers over the years, and there's one thing I'm absolutely certain of. Newer reefers who perform regular water changes have dramatically higher long-term success rates than those who don't. I'm so certain of this, just let me say it again. Newer reefers who perform regular water changes just have dramatically higher long-term success rates. In fact, I'll go one step further and say reefers who have one-inch sand beds like these and clean them as part of their water changes also have much higher success rates. Success meaning less algae, fewer coral and fish mortalities. The water looks and smells cleaner. But most important, new reefers who do their water changes and maintain their sand will not just make it to 12 months at a much higher rate, but they'll make it to three and five years plus. I will say after two to three years, a tank becomes less dependent on water changes and export method, and there are advanced systems, methods, or approaches to reduce the reliance on them. But this is something that you grow into, not a starting point. We already showed you how to mix up salt water in a previous episode. Just like the initial water, we're going to use Tropic Marine Pro because the entire goal here is to increase water quality with the water change. The effectiveness of that is 100% tied to the quality of the new salt water we produced. The Tropic Marine Pro Pharma Grade just does that for me. As to how much and how often, 10% a week is what I'd call best. With both of these tanks, that means scooping out five gallons of water into a bucket and replacing it with five gallons of fresh salt water. This can be a five minute task. Alternatively, you can do 20% every other week and two five gallon buckets, which becomes a 10 or so minute task every other week. Both strategies produce about the same result. You can go larger than 20%, then you need to start thinking about heating the salt water first and making sure the parameters are all close. I just suggest for newer reefers sticking to something about 10% weekly or 20% every other week. However, while you're doing it, your tank will greatly benefit from cleaning the sand at the same time. To do that, I suggest a 1-inch ProClean gravel wash from Python. When you're draining the 4 to 10 gallons into a bucket, put it into the sand and tumble it to clean it. You can do it in an area of the tank each time. It doesn't have to be the entire sand bed. Tumbling can be controlled by kinking one end of the tube while you siphon with the other hand. Close to slow it down, open to make it go faster. At the same time, you can spot a tuft of algae, pinch it between the siphon and your thumb, pull it off, and it gets sucked right into the bucket rather than into the tank. If you're going to do more than a single bucket water change, the no-spill water change system from Python also makes it a lot easier. In this case, you can turn the faucet and it creates a siphon that sucks the water right out of the tank and down the drain. Works well at cleaning the sand as well. With larger water changes, systems like this Python just take something that was a pain and messy and just makes it easier and cleaner. Somewhere down the road, I just want to plant the seed that water changes can actually be automated entirely. The Auto Aqua AWC is an option, and if you ever end up with a Neptune Aquarium controller, the Neptune Dose can perform your water changes for you with near zero effort. The Dose is actually what I use on all my own tanks. We got this water change thing down, but there's some cool medias that actually polish the water even further. I'm talking crystal clear, pristine, like new water with almost no effort. The entire five minute guide is always available here, but if you want to know how to polish the water, not just for the corals and the fish, but so your tank looks the best it can, that's coming up right here.